not hurt it, I literally mean not at all. Not even a little bit. You know what's crazy? The way they put together them little outfits, you know, like, look at this guy. Look at this. I guess he's going to go perform. Look at, look at this. Check this out. Tell me if you recognize it. Some of the favelas, these places are dangerous. They grab people's attention and, and talking to people in Kenya. I think that video was actually talking over it though. They got some nice shirts. Because, okay, good. That part is important because I left it on the camera really quickly for that reason, right? On the previous episode, I told you guys this. Ladies and germs, the slow travel journey continues, baby. So the sun is going down and I truly hope the camera is capturing what I want to capture for you guys. Alright, check this out. Now, we continue where we left off because in this Afro city of Brazil, when night falls, this is when they come out. Good night, good night, good night. All right, people, so listen, we're on the boardwalk that you saw in the previous video. It was daytime, now it's nighttime, right? I'm actually doing a tour showing my child's mother this place. Rich is me at the back of it again. Don't forget, subscribe, click the bell notification, hit notify all. Make sure you drop your comments. Make sure you hit that like button right now before we get started. Absolutely go ahead and share the videos on your Facebook and your Instagram. For my travelers, I highly recommend that you get the ebook and audiobooks on travel, safety, and dating. And for those who want to live abroad, get the cheat sheet to financial freedom and the good life, how to live or slow travel abroad. Available for instant download at payhip.com slash riches method. All the links are also in the description below. So, Let's go. One guy was asking me on the channel to get a comment. I was like, bro, honestly, the reason why I usually don't do it is X, Y, Z. People really can't see. They think they do only because only some people want to know where they can go, but most guys don't travel. And they actually want to see stuff because they can't go there. And at least he understood. He said, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so here's the deal. I got my phone in my hand. I got my headset in. I've got her on WhatsApp. But she's on video. I'm trying to show her and you guys. She said, well, You want to see? Let me show you. Ah, well, you said something. I thought you wanted to see. I, I do have my charger with me, and I know a place I can go and charge it. A little tiki bar that you saw before. Oh, no. Can you hear no? I think the headset came out a little bit. It still has that headset problem. I've never been to this place. That's the boardwalk. This is a little side area, just like the other one. I was just going to capture it when I saw it, but she's sick of it, so I stopped. Yeah, she dressed up in that thing. Uh, that, that one I do like here, when the women are here and the performers, they wear a lot of African garb and African dress, so that's good. Oh yeah, that, I think that's the, uh, the one particular bar I was talking about. I, had a, I was trying to tell you. Now, are you noticing what I'm noticing? Because I know I still got the camera on. <laughs> Alright folks, so this part right here becomes a little bit sensitive depending on who you are, right? What you know, what you're used to and all these other complications of modern society. So listen. I saw this bar right here. This one right in front of me. It was during the day, it was closed. It looked really upscale. And I was like, oh, maybe one day I gotta come check that bar. So I go home two days later, whatever. I'm thinking, all right, let me try to Google that location, get the hours, right? Because it was closed that time. Or barely over, yeah, like staff, looked like it was early. So 
I Google it, and I think it came up as the alphabet community or something around that area. No, I didn't really know this whole area that much. So I'm like, ooh, so I never went. Now, here's the situation. In this area of South Little Bahia, everybody is everywhere mixed in. So even if the place might be designated for one particular thing, I think right now everybody just goes everywhere. And I don't want to offend nobody. You know, like, look at this guy. Look at this. I guess he's going to go perform. Maybe this same, uh, this same place over here. What's the name of the place? Yeah, I think he might be one of the performers. Or you're going to go back for a little bit of money or something. Uh, this place is called the, the Vas, the Vas or Puro Malte. See, I do see a regular couple, but then I also see a gay couple, two guys. Let me go with a little short dude who's going, figure this out. Nope, he's going in there. I mean, they're playing they play regular music, man. They even play some Afrobeat, see? You got family here, you got a regular couple here. I saw this place when I thought about coming to it, but then I thought it was the other place that was here. Okay, just kind of a bar. Okay, they do a team. Somebody over there dressed as the devil. Hold on, let me show you. Ah, it's like a Halloween team. Wait a minute, Halloween coming up, October 31st. That's what's happening. I even forgot about Halloween. Yeah, yeah, they already got the Halloween team going. That's what's happening. Check this out. They did a good job with this one. <laughs> check it out, check it out. That's a good, that's a good uniform. Yeah, I completely forgot. You were like, why is the guy dressed that way? <laughs> Halloween. You know I can't see you, right? Yeah. Yeah, the 31st. You definitely want to listen to that. We're just saying that. I got a little short dude right there. Nah, the, the DJ got a good boot set up. But that girl, the girl dressed like a witch. Now, we never went back into that spot, so I'm not sure if it is or is not. I mean, damn, confusing. But me personally, I like to go places where I increase my odds. You know how it goes. So it's like if I'm going to walk up into a spot where the majority of people ain't looking for me, it don't really make no sense. But I definitely was feeling the music. I don't know what they call that, but it sounds good. I heard playing something similar to Afrobeat. You didn't even notice that. Think about it. You should have been like, oh my God, the first place was a little bit of like Afrobeat. But trust me, I have not heard American music here. I heard it in Rio and Afrobeat. When I say I have not heard it, I literally mean not at all. Not even a little bit. It's mostly non-existent. I think the worst part of looking at how I'm looking as a black man and walking through here is that a lot of times there's so many people who bag and stuff. They see me as a black guy and they also automatically assume that that's what I'm also doing. So there's two sides. Are you listening? You understand that? Uh, well, are you also watching? Because... Um, okay, good. That part is important because I left it on the camera really quickly for that reason, right? Well, they wanted to see the nightlife. So. I'm trying to. I got the camera on. I don't know which direction is pointed necessarily all the time. I know where the phone is pointed. It kind of ends. All I did was make a little left. It's only like one main restaurant, a little smaller one, then it goes dead again. But I remember on the other thing is nighttime. Yeah, there's not much if I keep going up this way. I noticed that this bar is open till like three in the morning. I didn't know but the one on the side because that was closed before. So I guess that maybe is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The only good thing about here is if you look weird or you're a weird person, you'd still fit in here because there's so much, I don't know how to put it, differences. Look at big roach. <laughs> Two of the girls got a 
Yeah. I've seen some big roaches here. Some people don't give a damn. All right, see how it works now? So this is just in the little side alley I just came from with the lady dancing and uh, working out. What, the girl or the homeless man? What do you mean everything? Yes, I'm recording. Why? Every time you see a girl, okay, let me show you the waitresses work here. See the little green thing in her back pocket? That's actually for her to ring up the prices. And they all have it. I mean, that guy right there got one in his front pocket. They don't have to go inside or anything. That's the payment system. Even beggars on the street here sometimes, I guess if they got an account or they're selling peanuts, they've got the same little payment system in their hand. It's crazy. They ain't gotta go inside to the actual register. See, that girl got one sitting on the table. They give them out here so easily. I was like, wow. And it does everything. Credit card, debit card, a little quick swipe, everything. Uh, just go. So they just come individually, take an order. A guy is walking around here selling some peanuts and he happened mostly in, in Rio though, not here. I saw one guy with the peanuts here and he first asked me and I said no. And then later, as I'm going back, I thought about it, so I call him back over, right? He comes over, I pull out my card, and he don't he only could take cash. I was like, damn, this unlucky day. <laughs> I was like, if this was Rio, just like the girl in Rio. The girl in Rio surprised the hell out of me too. And I asked that couple to ask her if she had like, a one of do it, start over. People hear my accent. Let me show you what I'm seeing. Okay, at least it's recording. Also, if I'm holding stuff in my hand, I guess because some of the favelas, these places are dangerous. It grab people's attention and uh, grab their eyes right away. Uh -huh. some, this lady selling something called uh, Marco. It looks like just dumplings and uh, look at look at this. Check this out. Tell me if you reckon. I recognize this though. You know it's crazy? The way they put together them little outfits makes it look like boom from a distance. Alright y'all, check this really cool fort out, man. I tell you what, I actually came here during the day, went into it. So like during the night, everybody's out here taking the Instagram type photos, all that kind of stuff. I like the lights. Check these lights out, man. You could just see yourself back in the day. You're a soldier out here. You got to stay off into that nighttime. There's also, um, what do they call it? The lighthouse. There's a lighthouse over there. And there's actually two of these forts not too far from each other. Cool stuff. Come out here, take your pictures in front of this uh, Salvador sign. You know what I mean? A lot of families out here. A lot of girls out here don't stay here too late. Like little like, place food. You don't want to put up a little market just like um, real. You saw that one night video where it was like this little uh, tent. They got them in Colombia too. Kind of like a pop up market. A little sheds, with a whole bunch of little items. Everybody got their own little items. I think you saw it in that one Cali video when up meeting the people from Kenya. Do you remember that one? Kenya video. Right up top of the people in Kenya. I think that video was actually talking over it though. They got some nice shirts. Uh, they got some nice shirts. Go to payhip.com slash riches method. Download the traveler's cheat sheet. Best guide to dating, safety, and travel. And if you'd like to live abroad, I've also got a book for that. That's called The Good Life. How to live or slow travel abroad. And for y'all who need just a little bit of help on the financial side of how to make this happen, I got the financial cheat sheet. All of them available for instant download at payhip.com slash riches method. And I'll check you guys on the next one.